In this video, I'll show you one of the simplest and fastest ways to build a business online. Look at this. This guy here is selling a table of data for $49. Other guy is selling similar kind of data again for $49. This website again selling some data but now for $995 per year. Other website the same selling for $37. And today, I will reveal the secret behind building this type of business. I will show you exactly step by step how you can do this and build and sell simple data tables and all this in less than 10 minutes. If you are ready, let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Hassan and you are watching the Reverse Builder series where I reverse engineer successful real products and applications and show you exactly how to build them, leveling up your skills and showing you how to start a smart digital business online. And today I chose simple data libraries where you simply collect some valuable data, package it and sell it. Okay, enough talking, let's start. To build any data library you want, you will go through five simple steps. And to make this real today, we will build together two real examples. Let's start with the first one, expired domains data. This website here, this guy is selling simply access to a data library or data collection where we have domain name, the niche, search volume, rating, backlinks, estimated value. So the main data is the domain names. And you see all these metrics here, this is the enrichment. This is step number four. So step number one is to find an idea, the data you want to collect. In our case, we have the idea which is expired domains or expiring domains. So we move now to step number two, which is brainstorming and collecting data. And if you have watched my videos before, you know I love to make things super simple and make your life easier. So what I did is I updated Simple LLM. If you don't know Simple LLM, it's an open source library I built to help anyone interact with AI models way easier. I added something called recursive brainstorm. Don't worry about the codes or the scripts. You will not code anything. I will give you the script by the end of this video. All you have to do is change this prompt here to generate data in your niche, whatever you are collecting. In our case, we are collecting domain names. So you see this is the prompt for domains. That's it. Then I will run this script. I will say here Python and the name of the script. Enter. And now in a few seconds, this script will start generating what you want. In our case, domain names using AI and using recursive research. What do I mean by recursive? Simply we start with level one. For example, we generate five domain ideas. Then for each domain or for each record, we go and generate another five and so on. So we have exponential data generation with this recursive method. So in a few seconds, you can get hundreds and thousands of records. Now in our case, to keep things simple, I will generate only 20 domain records. Perfect, we are done. Now you can see we have domain names.csv file. So we have a CSV file ready and we have all these domain names inside it. You can see we have the ID, the domain, the quality score, all this data generated with AI in a few seconds. So this is the recursive brainstorming with AI. It helps you easily generate ideas and brainstorm records for any kind of data you want. Now, if you want to learn more about this, you can go to simplelm.com documentation and you'll find here detailed documentation about the recursive brainstorm, how to use it, different methods, code samples, how to export, real world examples like the domain name generator and so on. You can check it out. I will leave the link in the description below. Now we are done with step number two. We brainstormed ideas and records. Now, step number three is to filter out what we want for this data. In our case, we don't want domains that are available. We want only expired or domains already taken so we can collect data about it. So for example, we can do this. We can copy like this first record, this first domain and go here and use GoDaddy who service and search and you will get information about this domain. This works 
But what if we have 10,000 domains, maybe 1 million domains, we're building a big data set? Of course, we can do this manually. Again, we need to automate this process. So what I did simply again is I created this simple script with Python to check if domains are available or not. Again, I will give you the scripts. You don't need to code anything. If you want to test and follow up with me, you can just use the same scripts I developed. And I will simply say Python, check domain whose, who's the service that allows you to check if the domain is available or not. It's called whose, W-H-O-I-S. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I will run it. It will check all domain names one by one automatically and filter out only domains that are already taken. You can see here the date expires like 3110. So here in this way we can detect domains that will expire soon. And this is where the valuable data comes in. Perfect. So we filtered out. Let's open this. And now we have the domains that are already registered. Perfect. Now we move on to step number four, which is the most important step in our flow, data enrichment. This is what separates just simple data from a product that people will pay for. Let's go again to those guys who are selling this data. You can see we have domain names and you can see here we have data enrichment like search volume, we have rating, backlinks, estimated value. Back to our example, we have now some domains and we need to enrich this domain records with some additional data like search volume or how much traffic each domain is getting and so on. So we need data APIs and one of the best places to find data APIs is Rapid API. Here you can find millions of APIs, data APIs you can use to enrich your data set. Now, in our case, we need what we call SEO data or search traffic data for domains. So we need services like SpyFu, for example. They provide a good API, by the way, if you want. Or in my case now, I will be using Keywords Everywhere, which is a Chrome extension, but they have also API access. If I go here to Facts and go down here to API documentation, and you will see they have API access. And if you go here to domain traffic, we can get domain traffic data. So for each domain like this, we get estimated monthly traffic and total ranking keywords. So we will enrich our data set with these metrics as an example for today. So look at this and how you can easily today use these APIs with your data. I will simply copy this just go and copy all this page i will open vs code i will open cloud ai and i will simply say i want to enrich my data set and pass it which is domain names with what do we have as metrics we have monthly traffic with monthly traffic and total ranking keywords using this API. That's it. And you pass the API documentation. And in a few seconds, Claude generated this script for me that enriches my domains with Keywords Everywhere API. So just go here again. Let's enrich our domains. Enter. Perfect. Now if you go here to domain names enriched, you will see at the end it added total ranking keywords and estimated monthly traffic. So now we have the CSV file containing all the data we want and it's ready to package and sell. But before that, I want to show you quickly another example in less than one minute to show you that this can be done on any kind of data. And we have hundreds, maybe thousands of examples and data you can now today package and sell in your niche. I have this second script to brainstorm keywords for tools. If you see here, the, the only difference is the prompt, the keyword prompt. Here we are generating keyword ideas for online tools. So I'm cloning this business here, this guy here, who generated keywords for tools and add volume and difficulty and CPC and so on. So if I run this script now, run, 
again in a few seconds using AI and the recursive brainstorm, we will go and start generating these tool keyword ideas. You see, you can see them here, iteration one, and you can see the keywords being generated inside the terminal here. Perfect, we are done. So now we have tool keywords. You can see now with a score for each keyword. Perfect. Then we need to enrich the data. Again, I will be using keywords everywhere. API, since we have here get keyword data, we can get search volume and trends and competition and so on for each keyword. I did the same and create a script to enrich my keywords with this API. And now simply I will run it, run. And if we go now to enriched keywords, you will see we have all the data we want in the CSV file. We have volume, CPC, CPC value, competition, trend, everything exactly like this data here. We can repeat this and generate thousands of ideas. And we have a valuable data set that's ready to package and sell. These are just two examples on building data libraries. We have maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of ideas depending on your niche, but all for the same exact steps. Idea, brainstorm, filtering, enrichment, package and sell. Let's now jump into step number five. Now that we have the data, let's package it and sell it. And you have three options. Number one, is to turn this data into API access. You can list the API on Rapid API and sell access to your API. For example, in my case, I sell different APIs here on Rapid API. The second way, which is the easiest, is just simply saving this data in Excel file or Notion, whatever you want, and simply selling as a downloadable digital file on Gumroad. And the third method to package and sell this data is creating a user interface, a simple web application around it, like this one, Domain Sniper here. And you can see this small icon here, it's built with Lovable. So if you go to Lovable, I think you know it, you can build with AI here. So you can pass the structure of data to Lovable and ask it to generate something like this. And because here we don't have this complicated logic, building with AI is super simple. Another example is lead magnet examples. This guy here, again, selling it through his own website. And you can code your own website with AI today easily with the latest AI models and agents. The main goal of this series, the Reverse Builder series, is to help you understand different tech concepts easily and learn how to build unique projects. And if you have something in mind, you find a tool or application online and you want to see how it works and how to build the same. I'm here to reverse engineer and share with you the secrets behind any application online. Just share it in the comments below. And don't forget, if you didn't join the Solo Builder School waiting list yet, go now in the description and join the waiting list. Soon I'll publish a new unique program that takes you from zero to your first product in just 30 days. If you learned something new today, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.